Howdy, my name is Steve, and welcome to my movie menu. Now, as an avid movie fan, I have more than one top ten. I don't have a top ten favourite movie of all time. I have a top ten of everything. Top ten genres, top ten films within genres, top ten actors, top ten actors in specific roles, top ten specific roles. All this kind of shit, because I can't be just confined to, oh, this is my favourite movie of all time ever. Except for The Lion King. Obviously. So, in today's episode, I'm going to tell you about three movies that are kind of like at the top of their respective genres, in my mind, anyway. So I'm gonna start off with um, visuals. The greatest animated looking visual film I've ever seen, <laughs> ever, to this day, has to be The Legend of the Guardians, The Owls of Gahul, which is based on a series of books written by Catherine Lasky? How do you pronounce it? L-A-S-K-Y, Lasky? Lasky? Anyway, uh, it came out in 2010, and it's just the most visually beautiful animated movie I've ever seen. It's about owls, but it's just, it's so crisp, and so detailed, and so, it's, it just looks fantastic. You ever get the chance, the, the story in it is, it's mediocre, I suppose. I, I recommend it solely for the visuals, if nothing else. It's, it's marketed kind of as a kid's film, but when I saw it, 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 it is not a kid's film at all. I would not take a child to see this film, but I highly recommend anybody above the age of... I don't know, will, will your mother let you watch birds being killed in the face with metal claws? Go watch this film if you like looking at the advances in technology that relate to creating realistic looking things. Best analogy ever. Next! Now when people talk about their favourite movie of 2011, you know, they, they think of, um, think of like The Descendants and The Artist, all these Oscar nominated movies. Mean Girls 2, but one thing that everybody overlooks because everybody in the world still hates him uh, is The Beaver with Mel Gibson, and it is a fantastic film. Every time someone asks me what movie do they recommend for them to watch over the weekend, I will always, the first I will always suggest is The Beaver. Why is my face so shiny? I don't have a greasy face, I swear. I'm like two seconds out of the shower, and it's just... What the f- Look at- It's so shiny! The basic story is, um, Mel Gibson's having some serious kind of depression issues in the film, and he's just kind of introverted and moved away from his family, and he's just an enclosed ball of mess, basically. And he finds a beaver puppet, like a hand puppet, in the trash, and takes it and puts it on his hand, and suddenly he's got, uh, a scouse. Angry... Mob boss, stereotypical, fucking lock stock and two smoking barrels, motherfucking accent. And it's fantastic. It's, I don't know what it, it's just, it's weird. I don't know why. Maybe it's cause, um, I have a hand puppet. His name is Mikey. He has a drinking problem. So basically it involves him talking through the beaver to his family and using it kind of as a shield. So he can say whatever the hell he likes. And over time, everything goes back to normal uh, with the family, and he eventually gets rid of the puppet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's that's kind of yeah. It's it's just a really it's a really nice story. That's all I can say. It's a movie that actually makes me stop and think. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> my face is so fucking shiny right now. Whatever. Okay, my face is shiny. Fuck off. And finally, uh, my favorite movie of all time. That isn't <laughs> The Lion King. It's one of my other. 18 favorite movies of all time. I'm not really helping out here at all, am I? Ace Ventura Pet Detective. This movie is fantastic. This, it actually taught me how to whistle. And if you saw my last voices video, and the way my face moves an awful lot, and just in general when I'm talking, my face moves an awful lot when I talk, all, all taken, stolen from Jim Carrey because his rubber face has become part of my face. Anyway, those are my uh, favorite movies uh, in specific genres. That's the easiest way of putting them. Because they're all oh, the genres are very specific. Oh man, favorite horror movie, favorite slasher movie. Completely different genres, by the way. Favorite thriller, favorite drama, favorite uh, action movie, favorite comedy action movie, favorite comedy movie. See how I tied those in together? Practice. Okay, leave me uh, a comment in the comment section below of your favorite movies. Per genre, but don't 
don't like leave like 850,000. I'll, I'll read them all. I'll read them all. But it'll take a long time to type. And there's like a 500 character limit or something. So uh, your favorite movie of all time and then kind of cut that down into a subgenre within a genre beside another genre on top of another genre covered in chocolate. Okay, my name has been Steve. Thank you very much for joining me. I will see you next time. Bye now. I'm not going to do the wink this time, okay? Just bye now. I'm going to be like really forceful. Like, get the fuck out of my bedroom! How do you get to Carnegie Hall? John, practice. No. No. It's, it's in America. You go to America first, then practice. Anybody can tell me what that line is, or the first line, not the second part. I kind of carried away with that one. Yeah.